so hope everyone is doing good and staying safe healthy so this is a video focusing on some general questions that i usually get as comments in my different videos and also in my linkedin message inbox some common messages common questions mainly uh, by different people so i thought that i'll make a video on this mainly i'll be concentrating on uh, three important questions that is been asked to me frequently so the first question that i get is how can i start my career as a quantity surveyor so again this question is mainly asked by two categories of people so one set of people are those who are freshers who have just completed their engineering or who are about to finish their engineering and they are going to start their career so that is one set of people and one set of people are the experienced one but not as a qs they will be working as a project engineer or a site engineer quality engineer safety engineer so they also after doing a research about quantity surveying and knowing about the scope of qs they will be also interested to change their career from the one that they are right now doing to qs so there are people who are asking me also that how can they shift so i'll try to explain like i'll try to give you my opinion or my advice this can be right this can be wrong this is just my opinion what i feel what i think on how you can change your career so for the freshers the engineering pass outs the most simple and the easiest way is obviously to apply to different companies and start their career as a maybe a junior qs or as a qs trainee so that is a most simple way because in campus placement i don't think much civil based companies or construction companies do come and recruit mostly software companies do come and they take people even civil engineers they do recruit and some of them join and start their career in the software industry i also started my career in the software industry i got placed from campus and that is how i started then only i shifted my career i have explained how i shifted what i did in a different video you can go and check through that video also to understand how i shifted my career from the software industry to the construction industry so this is one way the easiest way there are companies contracting companies there are consultancies the cost project management consultants who recruit freshers but mostly what i have seen is they don't directly recruit freshers from the graduate students like they don't recruit people who have completed their engineering what i did was i joined nikmar for a qs program one year qs program that is being provided still now mainly nikmar if you are looking for a higher studies in india it is nikmar and there is an rics accredited college mit college i think it is in noida i think it is in noida so they are also providing a two year mba program related to construction sector so that is not purely qs that is one way how you can move into the construction sector it can be project management as a coordinator or i think even real estate valuation sector so there are different categories different courses even in nikmar there are different courses so accordingly what your interest is you can choose that course and hopefully many companies do come and recruit and but you need to check if the placement record is satisfactory because as covid came there has been a shortage in placements happening uh, so you need to check that also you need to speak to the students who are right now enrolled who have just now enrolled to that course or who have just passed out then only you need to decide on which course to actually apply for and which college to apply for so that is when if you are looking in india these are the main two big names then there are small small institutes providing courses but i am not sure about how fruitful that can be in your future you know career so i cannot comment much on those institutes yes nikmar and this mit college i can because i know personally many who have done the course and who have got placed and started there 
career in the construction sector be it as a qs or project manager pan project management side so this again goes to the experienced people i get messages from almost 10 year experienced site engineer that he would like to change his career to qs one thing that i could advise to these people are to concentrate on your career right now since you're having a 10 years experience if you want to change your career it would be like from the beginning you will have to compromise on your designation your salary sometimes so if you're okay with that then fine but since you already have such a good vast experience it is better to do something related to that and then change your career something related to that so that you can get a better designation and better salary you can do some courses some additional courses related to your field not completely changing into another different field so that would be my advice again if you are keen on changing your career to a qs again you can also do a higher studies so again there are different universities providing masters in different countries like in uk new zealand australia canada so there are lot of universities that provide a masters a postgraduate degree related to construction management quantity surveying so if you are financially good secure then definitely that is also one option but try to check the career scope there the job opportunities there and also possibly try to see if you could get a permanent residency there and finally a citizenship there because if you are spending a lot of money there and if you just want to come back to india that would not be a economical you no know, you will not be very satisfied because you are spending too much money and then then coming back to india with that degree uh, you will not be getting a salary that you would be expecting so better to at least work there for some time and you know get back the money that you have spent for that particular masters program then make some additional money then you can come back to india also that degree will be recognized by every country even your home country it will be a good value addition to your cv also so these are the different ways by which you could try out your luck to change your career to qs or start your career in qs the next question that i frequently get asked is the country where qs is of high demand where quantity surveying jobs are there where you have more chances of getting a job as a qs so i would say most countries do have qs related jobs but again if you are from india you don't need any additional requirement like the visa or work permit so it is easy for you to get a job but for you to get a job as an indian in uk or australia or new zealand there are some limitations you would require work permits visa requirement so all these complications are there as i said previously if you are studying there then for example in uk if you go and study after completing your studies you get a post study work visa for 2 years it is legally possible for you to work there in that 2 years so that is one way why which you can get but again to stay there for longer you will require a work permit from the company where you are working so that getting that is really tough but it is not like impossible you if you are talented if you are skillful you definitely the company would require your service and require your knowledge your experience right now what i'm seeing is saudi arabia in the middle east saudi is really booming a lot of projects are being announced so a lot of construction projects are being announced so there is going to be a lot of job opportunities there then in the western side definitely uk and ireland in these countries qs is actually in the long term skill shortage list so these countries will have a lot of requirement then australia and new zealand again there are requirements but i don't think it is that much i am not seeing that much requirements but in definitely in uk and ireland i am seeing a lot of opportunities and also in india again it is not like before india also has having a lot of opportunities lot of new projects are being announced lot of companies are setting up their headquarters in india they are planning to shift their headquarters from different other countries to india so a lot of constructions are going to happen in india so a lot of 
chances are there for people related to construction sector to get a job and the last question that i get is how can this get a job in ua since right now i am in ua and uh, if you are following me or if you are a connection with me in linkedin you would be knowing that i am in ua or if you are a, my if you are my youtube subscriber you will be knowing that i am in ua i have also worked here for almost 7 years now the question that many people who are back in india are in their home countries they ask me how can they get a job in ua so the best way is to come to ua on a visit visa you can get a 3 month visit visa and then start searching for jobs because most employers look for someone who is there inside the country and who can join immediately so the best way is to come down here if you don't have that financial backup or if you are currently working and don't want to lose that job then you can also apply from your home country there are different consultancies who do recruit for middle east countries you can maybe approach them there are a few genuine recruitment consultants but the best way is definitely if you are here in ua if you are available here immediately available then there are more chances for you to get a job in ua so these were the three most common questions that were being asked to me and so i thought i'll do this video so that it can be more clear you can have a better understanding so if you have any questions or any more doubts regarding this you can comment it in this video or also you can ask me through linkedin if you are my connection my linkedin link my profile link has been put up in the description you can just connect with me you can add me there i'll be happy to share whatever i know so thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye